the cherry atop the white man's burden? Subservient little china doll that giggles with the pull of a string. Do you want me for my hair, my eyes? My sweet honey brown flesh of my own. Flesh that does not flesh sheer my essential power. power. My flesh that does not hold women. Flesh that does not flesh hold women. Flesh that does not conform to an ideal. Flesh that does not conform to an ideal. The tricks, the treats, the looks that would batter my mind, my soul. I'm not a jewel, not a tool, or a token for that matter. I am a mestiza. I am a dark Filipina. My color from white Europeans. My color from the negritas. You may glorify me for my whiteness. You may insult me for my blackness. But if you see this as privilege, if you see this as a burden, ask, ask me if I'm ashamed. I am not stigmatized, demoralized, prioritized. I will never be your prize. This anger, this hate, is tied up in so many things I have to subliminate. I have to write away all the wrongs I witness. And I celebrate the difference of my history, culture, ethnicity. Open your eyes. You got it. <laughs> yeah, Lord. Open your eyes from the shame of colonization. Admit what you are, are, not just Spanish or Asian, but a new mix of the vital. I am a Chinese, Filipino, Mexican, Spanish, Chinese, Maya, Japanese, Hispanic, Colombian, Irish, Japanese, Tagalog. I come from 7,000 islands. I speak over 50 languages. And I believe in more than one God. My story? My story is important. My story is part of the American storybook. My story is written, rewritten, told, retold. But the end has not yet been determined. I want you to open your eyes and see the millions of others like me. This very existence destroys your imaginary wall to be black and white and red and yellow and brown. I will not be trapped in a gulf between white and black. I will not choose between my Filipino side and my American side. I want you to see me as, as one, one whole, planted proudly in solid ground, with roots reaching through many histories. <laughs>